when you actually ride in the wave when you finally get an opportunity to do so i mean i think you just feel a sense of accomplishment and you feel a sense of freedom and you also feel like wow i'd love to be able to do this more you just want more of it so in a way it's a little bit addictive a couple weeks ago a sister of mine said yo come let's go out there and you know we we'll book the session and then the first after the first experience i was like wow this is something i could see myself doing on a regular basis and so i've only done one lesson Today is my second day ever surfing, and you guys are here to witness that, which is madness, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, this one is a little bit better because I got up on the board much faster than the last time. You know, the first lesson was, I don't even know how many attempts until I could actually get up on the board. Um, so definitely an improvement in that way. Um, however, I would say that just like with any other physical skill, like as I said, things like riding bikes or whatever, there are some certain parts to it that become natural and second nature that I have to remember, if that makes sense. So there's little things like, you know, the width of your your your, your stance when you're standing up, how far apart your feet are, is mean where your eye is looking, because that changes. The way your body is positioned so if you're looking that way you, you kind of really lean towards that way so there's little things like that that i've remembered as i tried and failed or not failed but tried and crashed and tried and crashed and then as, as you could see when i finally caught a one and two wave it was because i implemented all of those different techniques at one time so um it was good i mean i think for sure but what it what it does is that it, it encourages me to want to come out here more often to just keep doing it because that's the only way to learn something like this is to actually do it over and over again until certain things become second nature yeah, yeah. the faster you pop up the better because you pop up fast and then you you catch your balance. um your balance, then you need balance yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 so it might look like i was getting up too fast but what was happening was a it could have been i was lead, could have been leaning forward leaning backwards the side, so you fall out. yeah you, if you lean into the side so there's a lot of focus on your core you have to actually like steady you have to steady yourself so you know when you see somebody that's a professional surfer or somebody that's just decent surfing is not very easy it's actually much it looks easier than it really is when you actually ride in the wave when you finally get an opportunity to do so i mean i think you just feel a sense of accomplishment and you feel a sense of freedom and you also feel like wow i'd love to be able to do this more you just want more of it so in a way it's a little bit addictive right um but in terms of fears not really i'm 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 a water baby right i've always loved swimming i love the beach you know so for me the water is actually a place of peace and comfort which is why i wanted to try surfing because i really feel i almost feel like closest to god sometimes when i'm by the ocean it's a very spiritual place for me so um no no fears at all i think it's just more of you know, anytime if I have a doubt, it, it will show up in your, in your performance on, on that. But um, no fears at all. I don't think I have the same feeling as if I'm in the studio and as when I'm on the water. But what I would say is that both places require a certain level of releasing and letting go of everything else that's happening. You know, one thing I find with me is that if I have too much on my head top, if I have too much things on my head top, I'm gonna, it's going to come out even in my, in my singing right um and then another same thing when you're when i'm learning to surf i literally have to not overthink you can't overthink you just have to do it you just have to do it and do it i don't know how to i don't know any other way to explain it so similarly in the studio now even like if you say all right i'm writing about a particular thing or a story or whatever that's the only thing you're focusing on right you're not thinking about where you have to go later thinking about what bill you have to pay you know you try you like for me i have to zone in i have to just like release everything that's happening and pretend like this is the only place on earth to be in this very moment and i find the best work for me comes out that way musically i find that if i have once again too much right here it, it, you know it takes a minute for me to settle into myself and to just feel you know free and relaxed and i think that's what it requires out there on the water i would encourage it because first of all we live in a beautiful country you know this is just around the corner for most of us the beach is never too far when you live in jamaica so why would you not take advantage of that you have people all around the world that literally have to wait till once or twice a year to be able to access this but we just have it right here so i think also that's a big reason why i would encourage people to try that because 
yeah, this is our country and um, we should we should be enjoying it way more and, 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 and expanding our culture as Jamaicans, you know, this, the surf culture here is so dope and I think that um, I'd love to see more people tap into it. So yeah, I would just say just try it, just try something new, you know, if you can't swim first, learn how to swim. Y'all need to learn how to swim. Everybody should know how to swim. We're surrounded by water. No. Yeah, that's one. And then to learn how to surf. Trust me, you won't regret it. I started surfing. I couldn't swim enough. You couldn't yeah, swim? Yeah, no, I couldn't swim when I started surfing. But like, a couple, take me like eight months. Yep. So it's like probably a year still. You know? I could drop me out and see flat. Went out diving and thing and learn for swim, but um, I encourage everyone to come surf because like once you start surfing, one you're going to love it, and you're gonna always want to surf again. You see me? So it's a great feeling. You see me? So everyone should come learn for surf, have that same joy that everyone else has. You see me? Well, has had. You see me? Yeah. So. Follow up, come serve.